Hey, welcome in. Well, thank goodness the ACLU has its priorities in order this Christmas. Here's the headline. Seasonal surveillance. ACLU expert says elf on a shelf, not healthy for kids. Now, personally, I would just ignore this because the ACLU is not fit for purpose. It's not fit for anything anymore. It has become a part of the woke partisan cult. And the left doesn't like fun, it turns out. They don't like comedy specials, and they certainly don't seem to like Christmas very much. And we know that because of the weird Christmas shows that they make. I mean, just ask uh, Seth Rogen and Sarah Silverman. They'll tell you, just watch their show. Anyway, what's going on here? The beloved Christmas tradition of Elf on a Shelf may belong on the naughty list. An expert with the American Civil Liberties Union has raised concerns that the custom in which parents hide the doll in the home in the days leading up to the holiday could be normalizing the idea of surveillance by authorities. I, why even go there? I mean, unless you just hate Christmas, I guess. Unless you're just looking for a reason to not like Christmas, why bother? Uh, Children are told that the toy, which is based on a 2004 book, by Carol Abersold and Chanda Bell, is watching to report their good and bad behavior back to Santa Claus. Quote, I know a lot of families just see this as a fun thing, but it's worth thinking about the messages it's giving to children about surveillance by authorities. Yeah, I don't want to be surveilled either. But it's a doll. It's an inanimate object. I can't help but think that maybe, maybe there's something the ACLU could be concerned about that has a real bearing on civil liberties and what may or may not be dangerous for children, like this. Here's an article titled, The ACLU Turns Against Free Speech and the Once Vital Group is Being Captured from Within by Hyperpartisan Activists. It says here, the American Civil Liberties Union released a series of tweets yesterday on their stance on a proposed new wave of pandemic legislation. The organization announced that it supported vaccine mandates. That's right, the American Civil Liberties Union supports vaccine mandates. Why? Uh, well, maybe it's because the group has been captured from within by hyperpartisan activists. But anyway, it supports their vaccine mandates, which most people think of as an infringement on civil liberties, even if a necessary one, on the grounds that, far from compromising them, vaccine mandates actually further civil liberties. That's right. Forcing people to have a medical procedure that they don't want actually furthers their liberties. Well, that's right, because don't you know war is peace and slavery is freedom? And also, don't forget, nothing makes sense anymore. Well, sure, I mean, the founding statement of the ACLU says that its intentions are to defend and preserve the individual rights and liberties guaranteed to every person in this country by the Constitution— So surely, if forcing people to do things they don't want to do preserves their individual rights and liberties, I mean, I guess unless you're one of those far-right people, you know, one of those people with an elf on the shelf. Anyway, this ACLU freedom fighter says, I know a lot of families just see this as a fun thing, but it's worth thinking about the messages it's giving to children about surveillance by authorities. (laughs) You know, I think he might have put too much thought into this. Possibly. Anyway, continues, uh, quote, Personally, I consider success as a parent to be teaching my kids to do the right thing, even when nobody is watching, whether they be from the North Pole or anywhere else. Yeah, but what is he teaching his kids? Probably to, like, burn down courthouses. Yeah, and I bet uh, in his mind, doing the right thing is like denouncing one of your schoolmates for wearing a sombrero on Halloween or something. I just wonder what uh, he considers the right thing to be. I just wonder if the ACLU is really the best place to take advice from these days. I mean, here they gave an award to Christine Blasey Ford. Uh, They gave her a Courage Award. And of course, Christine Blasey Ford was the woman who accused Justice Brett Kavanaugh with no evidence and whose own friends didn't believe or even know what she was talking about. And so the whole thing just seemed to be kind of made up. but, uh, But the politics were right. So I guess that works. Now, I would have understood if they'd given her an award for lying. And you know what? Actually, to lie to an entire country, that does take courage. But anyway, and they're not too concerned about free expression anymore. Here's from the Wall Street Journal. The organization declares that speech it doesn't like can 
inflict serious harms and impede progress. So the ACLU is now against free expression. And as we've already seen, they're pro-mandating medical procedures for people that don't want the medical procedure. But nothing to see there. There's these elves on a shelf to worry about. So just stay focused on this and ignore the man behind the curtain. Merry Christmas. Please subscribe, like, and share. That really helps me out. If you'd just like to listen, there's the podcast, Radio Baloney. It's on pretty much every platform. If you look for it, you will find it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Thank you.